Okay, my name is Monica Ambalal and I teach music over at Merritt College in Oakland. And Sobia, where are you at? My name is Sobia Salim and I teach English and ESL at Ohlone College in Fremont, California. So some of the things I think we wanted to talk about were what we gained from our experience here in Senegal. Um, for me, the first thing that I noticed right away is that this breaks down all of my preconceived notions of what I had about coming to West Africa. Um, my first time here, I've never gone anywhere past North Africa or um, Uganda, for example. So for me, I found that um, people here, the community, were more welcoming about religion, about what I was wearing, um, the way I'm speaking, looking. There's no judgment. So this is one of the things that I really enjoyed the most was knowing that I could feel comfortable. Every morning I was running and nobody cared what I looked like. <laughs> I was jogging um, with the children, with the people. Sometimes people would join me for a jog. And so I felt so welcomed here. This was really important for you. Yeah, for me, it was really interesting. Um, a lot of my research centers around Islam and the heterogeneity of Islam. and. Uh, even though I'm born in a Muslim country and I've visited several Muslim countries, including some in North Africa, mm. I'd never had this experience here where you see this religious inclusivity, you see um, this sharing of religions, you see, I hesitate to use the word tolerance, but you see this just um, congeniality, right? this friendliness. And for me, it was really interesting to see a different perspective on Sufism mm -hmm. because I had understood yeah. Sufism in a very different way in the States, right. and then Sufism here is something quite different. So um, it was really interesting for me to see that. And it was really interesting for me to think about what I could take back to my home institution. Mm -hmm. um, I thought a lot about it. I definitely want to take a lot of this back into the classroom in terms of identity and where identities intersect and the layered sense of identities. Because here in Senegal, I noticed people speak multiple languages. They have multiple backgrounds. Parents can be from different um, ethnicities. Um, you can have friends and family members of different religions. And so that's something I thought about in terms of my students. But I also thought about what can I take back to my fellow faculty? What can they really learn from this? Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of faculty, or a lot of people in the States rather, have this black and white notion of religions, of ethnicities, of languages, of all these different layered things. And I think this is something I would like to take back. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think I felt really blessed and lucky, and I think a lot of us did. And not only did we get lectures and workshops inside mm -hmm. the classroom, inside you know the conference room, but we also got to do these field trips. I think it was something For me, yes. very different to actually go to the Great Mosque of Tuba, to go to the library and see the text. Like I just wanted to stay there for a month and just delve through the different versions of the Qurans, delve through the aesthetic appeal right. that they had, see how they were unifying, look at the different um, the different Qurans that were given to um, Sheikh Ahmadu Baba, all these mm -hmm. things, right? Going to the actual Signares, um, you know, hotel in San Luis, speaking to someone who was a descendant from them, right? Seeing right. what kinds right. of recycling they were doing, what kinds of programs they were creating, right? Mm -hmm. um, going to, to Bakuta, like all of these things, I think made the experience much more real. Mm -hmm. And so it's just trying to figure out how we're going to translate this experience to the other people who haven't been back here. to the classroom yep. and yep. me coming here too i've noticed you know i've had a chance to interact with people in the community and i am mm -hmm. fortunate because i can speak french and it's interesting i have met i've met people who will mention the things we've studied so sangor and wad and they'll talk to me about politics because the young people are interested in these things here and i think they want to see the better of the country and it was so lovely to hear that. So everywhere I went, and I'd say, oh, Wark, people knew Wark immediately. <laughs> they knew it right away. And they said, oh, and if they didn't know, they said, wow, this is a really great program. They're teaching me my history. So thank you. Yeah.